Most people can't wait to get out of Sing Sing. But the folks behind the museum are betting thousands of people will pay to get in. They'd like to convert the 1936 powerhouse, and perhaps even the 1825 cell block, into a tourist attraction at the maximum security prison that's been on the banks of the Hudson River since before the Civil War. Historic Hudson River Town's executive director, Jerry Fiella, explains what they're looking to do. To accurately capture uh, the 200 years of its existence um, from the lens of both the correction officers, uh, inmates, and the administration, and then go through and explain the evolution of the penal institution and penology in general. Here at the Ossining Heritage Center, they have replica cells. Think of it as a preview of what you'll see down at the museum at Sing Sing. They're hoping to open that in 2020. Sing Sing has always had a certain mystique. Its proximity to New York City, its size, the famous people who stayed there, including the son of Sam, David Berkowitz, all that made it famous and infamous. Here's Ossining Village historian Dana White. They used to bring in a thousand people a day to tour this place. They used to let women walk around looking around. Celebrities came here all the time. Um, if there was a visiting king, he had to come to Sing Sing and see what was going on because it was considered very advanced for its time. All of that, plus the incredible scenery, made Sing Sing an ideal location for filming. And Hollywood jumped all over that. The most famous era of the Hollywood pictures that were filmed here was when Warden Lewis Laws came here in 1821. And he was uh, very good at public relations and he was also himself very ambitious when it came to uh, media. And uh, he invited the studios to come and film here. Warner Brothers shot so many gangster films here that they actually built that gymnasium that you can see next to the old cell block as a way to say thank you to the convicts who appeared in the films, that 20,000 Years uh, in Sing Sing was uh, Warden Law's most famous book. They made a movie about it starring Spencer Tracy. A picture that condenses the most dramatic moments from hundreds of sensationally dramatic lives into a single evening's entertainment. Such a picture is 20,000 Years in Sing Sing. Gangster films starring James Cagney in the 20s and 30s, Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn, and Analyze That with Robert De Niro, all shot scenes at the prison. But the star of the show when you talk about Sing Sing is perhaps Old Sparky. That's the nickname of the electric chair that was used to kill death row inmates. More than 600 people were executed, including Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. They were convicted of espionage and electrocuted in 1953. The last execution was in 1963, 10 years after. But Sing Sing isn't all about crime and punishment. It's also a place of rehabilitation. People trying to be better men when they come out than they were going in. Behind these walls, people are doing time, but they're also using that time to get job skills, get an education, get ready for the world outside these walls. The museum will also tell their story. Sing Sing Superintendent Michael Capra explains how groups like Hudson Link help accomplish that. We caught up with him at the Hudson Link graduation where inmates got their diplomas. We have a responsibility. You know, we have uh, 1,700 guys here, and they're gonna, most of them are gonna go home. You know, what do we do with them while we're here uh, makes a big difference on the safety of the society. It also makes an impact on these guys, their lives, their families' lives. Here's Jerry Fiella again from historic Hudson River Towns explaining how the museum will also cover that aspect of prison life and life after prison. Part of the story will inevitably bring to light the current uh, thinking of rehabilitation, issues of reentry, uh, bringing a prisoner back into society, what that's like. Uh, uh, talking about the rehabilitation through the arts program, uh, the benefits that that has had uh, for reentry, uh, providing uh, uh, prisoners with some self-esteem as well. 